In this video, I'm going to show you how you can stop narration on slide revisits. I got a message from one of the viewers of my YouTube channel who was commenting on a video where I was showing learners how to stop audio from playing when you return to a slide. Really useful if you have like a main menu slide or a table of contents slide. But this, uh, this video was done with an older version of Adobe Captivate. And of course, this viewer wants to know how to do it in the all new Adobe Captivate or Captivate 12, if you will. Let me show you. Okay, so here's what we have in this uh, Captivate project. We have this uh, welcome to the course slide that includes a table of contents. And uh, each of these uh, text uh, components that I've added to this slide, I've actually set an interaction for to go to that particular first slide of each section. So you'll see here we've got go to section one, go to section two, three, and so on. Uh, here's what section one looks like. We have a next slide, which takes you uh, into that particular section. And at the end of each section, we have an end of section slide. And there's a continue button. And I've yet to set up any interactions or actions for these continue buttons. Uh, the goal being, of course, is that when we arrive on this slide, we only want to hear the instructions the first time we visit this slide. On subsequent uh, visits, they can read the instructions if they wish, or they can just quickly click on one of the links to start the next section. Now, normally, you know, you would add slide audio to achieve this, but unfortunately, you can't really, through advanced actions, you know, adjust the way that audio is played back on the slide itself, at least that I'm not aware of anyway. So we're gonna do this in a number of different ways. First thing we need though is a variable to help us keep track of whether we've been on this slide before uh, or this is the first time. So the easiest way to get to the variables window is to click on your project properties icon in the bottom right hand uh, corner of the user interface and we can click on the create a variable plus icon in the variable section. And this goes straight into creating uh, you know, a variable. And I'm just gonna call this slide one visited. In this case, uh, you know, we could use a number, we could use a string, but I'm gonna use true false in this case. This is kind of an interesting option that uh, Captivate 12 or the all new Adobe Captivate gives you. So I'm gonna change the, the initial value to false I can add some text here, um, you know, this variable keeps track of visits to the first slide or something like that. Click create and now we have our slide one visited uh, variable here. To get out of the variables window, just click outside of that and we can start writing our actions for this, uh, this slide here. So let's go to the interactions icon in the uh, properties inspector toolbar here. And this is gonna be a slide level interaction. So we're gonna click on the plus here and uh, we need to think about, okay, what's our trigger? The trigger is every time we arrive on this slide. So that would be slide enter. I'm gonna select that. Now I wanna check the condition of my variable. So that makes this a conditional interaction. So we're gonna click on plus and how, you know, what, what condition are we looking at? Well, we're looking at the value of a variable. We could be looking at states. There's a number of different ways you could do this. If, if the states of these had changed to something else, that could be our trigger. But in this case here, we'll just keep it uh, simple here. We'll go with variable and we'll select our slide one visited variable and we'll check to see if it is equal to a value of false press save. So if we haven't been here before, it's currently false. And what we're going to do is under the more section, we're going to play some media. And we're going to browse to that media, which happens to be on my desktop here, we'll click open. And then we'll click on done. So that takes care of this. 
Now, how do we deal with that variable so that on, on second visits to this slide, it's no longer false, it's now true? So we have visited this tr uh, slide at least once before. Well, at the end of each section, on our continue button, we're going to do two things. The first thing we're going to do, the trigger, of course, is clicking the continue button. The action will be to uh, assign our variable slide visited a value of true. Click done. And then we need one more action, which will take us back to the main table of contents slide. And one of my favorite features of Captivate 12 is that, you know, when you do something like go to slide, you don't have to remember the slide number. You can just visually look at this and see that's obviously where we want to go. Click done. Now, one of my favorite features in the all new Adobe Captivate is the ability to copy and paste actions. So rather than doing all that for each of the continue buttons on these sections, I can right click on continue and I can select copy interactions. I can go down to the end of section two and we can paste those interactions. There we go. So we're assigning that variable. Go down here, same thing, paste interactions, down to the very last slide, select our button, and paste interactions. That's it. So we can go back up to our opening slide here, our table of contents slide, and let's preview this and make sure it works as expected. This online course is divided into four sections. You can visit these sections in any order, but you must visit each section at least once to complete this course. Make a selection now. So again, it literally does not matter which of these four sections I click on first. Let's do the last one. Here we are, and there we go. We click Next, and then we'll click Continue, and we are returned to our table of contents. But again, because it's all triggered by our interaction, we're not hearing that narration anymore. So this is a great, and as you can see, relatively simple way that you can disable the audio on revisits to certain slides. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.